This is a guy who continued to taste and smell and feel the suffering of the people of his state. He tasted it. That's why it was so deeply ingrained in him. It wasn't just a moral obligation. This guy remembered. And he unapologetically has been pointed out did everything to improve the lives of the people of Delaware by stealing all the money from Delaware, Tennessee, Texas, California that he could possibly get. Remember, Governor, there were two campaigns ago. He's getting beat up for trying to move. Was it two campaigns ago to have the FBI move down to, uh, down to West Virginia? And the national press was beating him up. And I was on the floor with him, and he just had to get ripped in a press conference about that. And he, you know how he used to grab you by the arm and walk you back? He walked me back. He said, Joe, I hope they keep throwing me in the briar patch. <laughs> but I tell you what, you West Virginians owe a lot of people in Delaware <laughs> for a lot of money we should have gotten, and you got. I just want you to know that. So be nice to the rest of us. And by the way, if you doubt it, if you just drive here, you cross the Robert C. Byrd Drive, the Robert C. Appalachian Highway, the Robert C. Library Learning Center, the Robert C. Byrd Clinic, the Robert C. Federal Building in Charleston, and on and on and on. But ladies and gentlemen, of course, it's more than the name we're not going to forget. It's his courage. He died like he lived. He died like he lived his life. He never stopped fighting. How many people would have hung on as long as he did? How many people would have had the ability to get back out of that hospital bed and get in a wheelchair and come in and vote, vote for this? He never stopped thinking about his people and the things he cared about. Speaking several weeks ago, uh, this week, actually, uh, when uh, Robert Byrd said, quote, like Jefferson and Adams, I'm inspired to continue serving the land I love to the very best of my abilities to the whole of my, for the whole of my years. Well, he served the land he loved. He served the people he loved. He served the people who were in his blood. And because of that service, you have gained greatly. And with his loss, you're the first who will feel that loss. But it's not just West Virginia alone. It's all of us.